Good morning, this is Rob with Evolution Tabs. Today I'm going to be installing our system on this Supra 22 SSV and following a few simple steps, you can install one on yours as well. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is put some painter's tape here on your transom. Now, we are going to make a mark right here, right at the edge of the pop-out. You can measure out 19 and a half inches. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is to take your block and hold it up. And then we are going to mark the transom where the block is. And that actually gives the alignment that we need to install the tabs. Okay, so what we did is we drilled a couple of holes. I actually put some screws in there to hold the block in place as these are quite heavy. And then I simply used a 90 degree drill attachment to be able to get to the back holes. Now on these bottom ones, you don't need to use every single one. I like to go in an alternating pattern towards the front and the outside. One, two, three, four from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five from the back to attach this. So now I'm going to remove the screws and take a look at all those, chamfer the edges, and then we will attach it. Okay, so this is what it looks like after we drill the holes. You can see we have alternating bolt patterns on the bottom, alternating bolt patterns on the top, and we are now ready to apply the marine adhesive sealant and, and adhere these to the boat. Okay, so now the block has been installed. Basically what you wanna do is make sure that we do the ones from the bottom first. So we'll hold it nice and flush up to the top edge. That's where you're gonna have the most contact. And then come in from the front. So we used marine adhesive sealant on all the holes before we went in. You can see there is a tiny gap in the block up at the top and that's just fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. And we are now ready to install the plate. Okay, really quickly, my phone died, so I was not able to record more video, but I wanted to give you some information on this. In the picture, you can see the upper mounting bracket on the outside of the swim platform. The tabs then attach to the blocks using the three quarter inch screws. You're going to actually take the wire through the backside of the transom above the subfloor because you don't have access to that. The easiest way is to drill from inside the storage locker. Here you can see that the actuators are all installed. Installs very similar to the other install videos that we've done to this point. The retraction, you want these to go up as far as possible to the swim platform. With the joystick mount, we mounted this right underneath the controls up in the dash. The wiring is very simple. If you have any questions, please contact us at 801-404-3744.